Jeff Simon here at AirVenture 2023. I'm here at Avidyne with Dan Schwinn. How are you doing, Dan? I'm doing well, Jeff. It's great to be here. I Okay, so obviously I'm an Avidyne fanboy just because it makes my IFR flying so much easier. And I have to tell you, our flight in here to AirVenture was challenging. There was a lot of convective activity, a lot of rerouting, a lot of frequency changes, and even getting essentially dropped out of the frequency range and having to use the IFD to find the next center that we were gonna to talk to. And I just wanna say, it was easy. That's that, the key. That's it the idea. It was in a high pressure environment, it was remarkably simple. So and these kinds of situations are where the IFD really shines because things are easy to use and if you get a bunch of different instructions from controllers or like you get dropped and you gotta go find a frequency or whatever, it's fast and easy to do that. And that's really where the IFD shines. Not that it's not great under lots of other circumstances, but I think what you experienced is, is one of the reasons people love that product. And especially if they, no, none of us are gonna end up in that situation on an everyday basis. Right. So when you're gonna, if you're gonna get into a, a, a situation where there's complex traffic, airspace, whatever, once in a while, it's great to have the IFD, which kind of helps you through that as easily and quickly yeah. as possible. You don't have to know a lot of tricks to make it do yeah. what it can do for you. And it's and it's simple because uh, you know when we originally got our aircraft, it was a brand G stack, and we just popped everything out, yeah. slid right in, and you know with a few configuration changes on the setup screens, that's it. It's ready to go. And then when we upgraded to the IFD 550 with the beautiful synthetic vision and everything else that's on that display. Um, it, same thing. It was like pop it out, yeah. slide it in. We use it on the Mustang. It's it's just been been great. So you you might be surprised to hear, but we've been here on day one of Oshkosh for four hours, and I can tell you that at least a half a dozen or more people have come up to me and said, "I understand you can actually slide one of these my old radio out and slide this <laughs> Doesn't in." Doesn't really work. And, and and is that really true? And I say, well, yeah, and it's been true for quite some time as it turns out. Yeah. One person I actually had to show them the two side by side to say, you know, this is a direct replacement. You can get your A&P to do it legally on your certified airplane or you can do it on your experimental aircraft yourself. Yep. Very straightforwardly. About the only thing that you have to get people to think about is if they have a non was system, they're right. going to need a new antenna. Yeah, and that's about it. And like new, so, you new know, cable, that, new antenna for that, WAS. That's if there's if there's a hitch, that's the thing. But you are getting the WAS upgrade, which everybody should yeah. have because it opens up the world of approaches to you. It's so. it's awesome. But let's talk about what's really new, and that is Vantage. And uh, you've got uh, some news because Vantage is getting closer and closer. There's a lot of serious pilots that are really anxious, and then of course the folks like me are anxious for the next step after that, which is gonna make it right. possible for us to, get to, to do it. So, uh, there's two questions here. First one is, our number one priority as a company is the Vantage for Cirrus, the Vantage 12 for Cirrus. That unit is designed to be as big as it can possibly be and fit in an existing Cirrus instrument panel. And it took us something like five or six tries to get everything to kind of fit on the panel with the fasteners and stuff, but that has happened and people are going to be amazed at how big and how bright it is. Yeah. Um, progress is really good. We got our certification basis uh, agreed to by the FAA last week. Um, that was a longer process because we were the first company to use the latest version of the, of the regulation that we're using. So the FAA had to come up to speed on it. And we're in regular flight tests and it's going very well. Now, the bad news is it's too big for your airplane. <laughs> so... Um, we plan a unit which has, you know, very similar functionality that will be enough. Just a, just a little the same smaller. width, but a little bit shorter, so it'll fit in place of those six packs and and other kinds of units that are designed around that instrument panel that so many of these airplanes have. Now I've heard uh, possibly a, a rumor here, but I don't think it is that. You know, we all face the issue of installation. That's yeah. one of the biggest challenges in our, in our, our entire right. industry right now, whether it be like working on yeah. your aircraft for regular yeah. mechanical stuff or whether it be right. avionics shops. And my understanding is that you're, you're looking at, for that next stage, actually streamlining that for everyone right. with, with panels and things like that. So this is a big topic. And one of the reasons is that many of the installation shops, they've been busy for a while, but they're losing technicians. And you can't just go hire somebody on the street who, and say, you know, it's, it's wires and it's an airplane and, you know, let's, let's uh, you know, put some things in here. It takes quite a bit of experience. So 
On the Vantage for Cirrus, we're designing this to be a super easy replacement. It's not, it's not a drop-in or plug-and-play, but right. we're selling the whole kit of the new instrument panel, the harness, and the displays, yeah. and the instructions are not how to install a box, they're how to install it as a, at the system level to hook right. it up. So, you know, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to test that out on the Cirrus installations. I think it's the way things are gonna go in the future. It opens up to more people and the shops that have less experienced people will be able to do it, yep. which is really important to us because we're trying to broaden the number of people who can get this done and get it done right. Yeah. That's really yeah. important, yeah. you know, to make sure that you know, you put this thing in a, in a fashion so that they don't have to interpret a bunch of complicated stuff. They can put it in, follow the directions and have it work perfectly on the first try. Now, as far, uh, that, so we're doing that on the Cirrus. I think that's going to be a trend going forward. I think, you know, one of the things you're going to see are more complete panel installs, and I think the other thing you're going to see is kind of a more integrated installation process. Right, so right. That this makes is, a lot of sense. This is our, yeah. the, this, the Vantage for Cirrus is our prototyping of that. There are some really cool things we're going to do for it. Um, and, you know, one of the things hopefully will be that uh, an installation guy can watch a you know, 20 or 30 minute long video and mm -hmm. be like, I totally got this and I'm gonna get it right on the first try. So that is, a, that is a really important objective of ours. Um, and there's some things we're doing to the installation kit that'll make it really easy. And I see that being a forward going trend because I think some of the fundamentals, people wanting to put more new stuff in at once mm -hmm. and trying to make it a lot easier for the shops, those fundamentals are gonna be with us for quite a while. Well, one of the other things that I really like about what you've done as a company is you don't require it to only be, you know, the facilities that, that have a repair station license. Right. Like, you're opening it up right. to other people that if they have the capabilities, then they can be a dealer, they can do the installation, they can actually make this possible, and that opens up your whole labor market. And that's the key thing for us. In the case of the IFDs, since they can be directly installed and it's got an SCC that covers pretty much everything that anybody flew here, um, that can be signed off by an AMP. Yeah. Or if you're an experimental builder, you can do it yourself and we will support right. you. On the Vantage, you know, we're really saying, how do we make this easy? But the, but the, the intent though is to broaden the base of installations, reduce the time, make it easier for our shops to use, for our you know, more established shops to use some of their less experienced people and to broaden it out to others that don't typically Right. feel competent to do these kinds of things. Because, you know, obviously everybody wants it to be gotten right on the first try. That's the key thing. Yeah, and then you're there, it works, and then everyone gets the, you know, easy to use avionics that we've been waiting decades for. Well, that's what we're trying That to makes do. it all possible. And so, uh, anyway, it's just fantastic. Thanks for making my IFR flying easier. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear about that. <laughs> makes a big difference. Yeah. I definitely appreciate it. So have a great show. And uh, we'll definitely see you guys around. Yes, you have a great show as well. I'm sure you will. I mean, when I came in here this morning, you couldn't even move. It's I couldn't get to the booth. I had an FA meeting beforehand, and I'm trying to get in the back door, and it was just packed. So hopefully uh, we're going to have a great show this I, year. The I weather's great, and uh, it's yeah, great too. I, I think it's record attendance. I mean, it is just crazy as far as what the enthusiasm is. And again, looking around your booth here, it's, it's packed. Everyone yeah. is many people deep in order to go see a Vantage or uh, be able to see one of the IFTs. Thanks very much for having me on the show. Absolutely. For AirVenture 2023 and Social Flight Blue Skies. <laughs>